bit late. But uh, I'm Joanna Buffington. I'm chairing the Open Space Committee meeting today, uh, Wednesday, December, th- December, October 30th, the day before the most important day of the year, Halloween. <laughs> um, <laughs> All Hallows Eve, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> we let's. Uh, this is being recorded and um, Zoom and in person. So I'll do a roll call for um, attendance. Zoom, please. Uh, Michelle Vion present. Kate Wilger present. Linda Dorflinger present. Joanna Buffington present. So we do have a quorum. Um, and Francis left, uh, met, did meet with Alex. And so she, um, well, and she also, the agenda is is posted and hopefully you guys all saw that. And Kate, did you know that you were volunteered to take minutes today? Oh. For the day I don't bring my computer again. Would you like a paper plate to write on? Yeah. Okay. I I think Frances has a, yeah, she's got the schedule on. So Uh sorry, I should have um, warned you. I knew it was kind of felt like it should be here. Okay. So um, the first item on the agenda is the open space and rec plan update, which Michelle will give us an update. Yeah. So we are, after months and months of not making a lot of progress, we have made tremendous progress on this. So we have a small subcommittee that consists of Francis and me and Shana and Alex and Christine Meckel from the rec department. Um, And so we have the, the, there's lots of chapters and the biggest ones are, are complete. So section four and section five are mostly complete and that's all the the detail of you know the endangered species and the wreck stuff and Alex Hyox. So um, I'm just giving an update on the OSRP. Hmm. And um, yeah, so then we're, our next meeting is on November. We meet mostly once a month, but we have a lot of stuff going on. So we're our next meeting is I believe November or just in the early part of December, because there's a lot of stuff going on in November. Um, but anyway, we work off a shared drive. So um, we don't have a deadline when we can report that it will be complete, but uh, compared to where we were, we're probably 50% done. Um, mm-hmm. So that's really exciting. Great. Anything to add on? We just started OSRP. Okay. so. Yeah, I just started yep. sitting in on on those meetings. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't able to make this most recent one, but uh, mm-hmm. going forward, okay. uh, yeah, I'll be sitting in. It's great to be part of that conversation, and it seems like we're making good great. progress. Yeah, yeah, we get, we had got a lot done yesterday too, Alex. So basically, mm-hmm. section four and section five were almost done with both of them, wow. and okay. there's just some pieces that I think. Francis is waiting for, or you're waiting for, or something like that. But um, it's the majority of it is time. Great. Um, uh, land management plan for Wiley Park and Nickerson. Um, Francis, I know, met with with you fr- Friday. Did she meet with you? Mm-hmm. Well, she she left me some notes, okay. and I uh, I part of it was with discussion discussion with you, but that the. the um, uh, an award was made to um, of just under six, just under five thousand um, dollars to um, Tom Tom Farrell, the forester, um, for the Wiley Park a Wiley Park land management plan, mm-hmm. and a walk uh, is scheduled um, will be scheduled in November for him. And do you have any more information on that? I do not. No. Okay. So, so um, Tom Forrester. Hi, Karen. Hi. Good to see you. Yeah. Um, we just started, well, OSRP, we had an update that's moving along and we're on the second land management plan for Wiley Park. Um, has awards uh, funds for Tom Farrell to um, work on that and they will be scheduling a walk in Wiley Park in November with open space and probably co- conservation <laughs> also. So Alex, yeah, that makes sense. Do you think that you should have the is it the 1051 that's doing the replanting? 1651. 1651, not 1051. Tax form, no. 1051. Um, should they um, be involved in that? Should they be on the walk? Maybe. I mean, there's... Um, it wouldn't hurt. 
Yeah, maybe um, see if one uh, representative, who, well, Francis, oh, Francis is, is our, yeah, our liaison. Our liaison. So she can, if she wants to invite someone else from that, maybe um, that wouldn't hurt. But this is much beyond just the planting right. part. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next item is the CRs, uh, the Wellfield CR. Um, and <laughs> um, Francis's notes said that Alex is going to work with Henry on that. Okay. So um, we are currently trying to track down the draft of that CR. Okay. Um, so I've been in conversation with Jackie Tupper of environmental. At the state. No, she's no. she's over. I think she's overseeing the um, the water project. Oh, okay. And okay. Um, so she, we're, we're trying to find this draft, and we were talking with Shana. Um, we both agreed that it would make sense to have Mark Robinson kind of pick this up back up where it was left off, and that there would be funds available for him to do that. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of where I'm at currently. With okay. This. So. That CR is still a work in progress, and I imagine it probably will be for, for some time now, but we're, mm -hmm. you know, okay. Okay. making progress, slow okay. progress, but. Uh, <clears throat> the next is um, the stewardship, um, and I think we're still in Wiley Park. Oh, maybe, no, this is sort of general stu land st stewardship from us. Um uh, but Wiley Park, actually, Francis Nose said that the natural resources worked in Wiley Park on trail maintenance and fence, fence put up a fence, uh, fencing and blocked off one of the pond, um, you know, things we're trying to block off with some fencing. Um, so that went forward. And then um, Francis report, reported that um, she, uh, with the 1651 group, they did plantings on October 19th. Today is the 30th. Yeah. They've done a lot. Planting near the restoration area. And she put a number of cranberry viburnums and beach plums planted. So, um, yeah, I haven't been in there recently, but yeah. it sounds like a lot's um, been done. <clears throat> got a picture from from Mike, who, mm -hmm. who's on with that group and on the commission. Um, and it looks like Mike. Karen saw the, the pictures from Mike as well, that the plantings looked great. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like that project went went well. And they've actually done some trail maintenance and, and moving some down trees. And okay, good. so people can get through and mm -hmm. yeah, we've done a lot there. Who yep. put up the fence? Natural, Natural resources, resources, somebody, yeah. Mike, who, Mike? Yeah, <laughs> how many are left? Mike, Stephanie, Mike, Scott. Stephanie, Scott. Yeah, so one of the three or all three of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but I believe the open space committee did like a work day at Cottontail. Cottontail, Cottontail, yes. <laughs> and I think that yeah. that is on my okay. Sign so right. I'm supposed to signs. Okay, I don't know where it is, but yeah, do you want to give an update on that, um, Linda? That was uh, so yeah, land stewardship by us. <laughs> by us yeah. I I really don't recall the day, but it was Joanna, um, Rob, and I. Yeah, that was and last. Was last Wednesday? last week. That yeah. was when, had the. Um, it was Thursday. 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 Thursday yes. Yeah, so the twenty fourth or something. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Joanna removed the uh, poison ivy from the trees. Yeah, I, I tromp through poison ivy regularly. <laughs> what, what else do you mean? Oh, so ivy. You react. I, I don't, but I'm still careful and I wash yeah. thoroughly when I get home. We're all covered. We were okay. all pretty well prepared. Good. But we yeah. did, yeah, we did um, sort of the girdling, the, tr the <laughs> vines that were headed up. Right. Uh, and the ivy. Yeah. And I happen to... Um, walked it cottontail and came up with um mileage for it okay i figured how to do that with my phone with my watch phone okay and i've got pictures here oh very good i thought this is not only cottontail it's also wiley and nickerson mm -hmm. um that i thought we can use on the uh, 
information that we're gathering for our pamphlets. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to get it from here to print. Well, maybe I can print it via my home printer. Yeah, or would you email it to me as well? Mm -hmm. I guess I can do that too, yeah. yeah. I oh, and I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I also went to Upper Boat Meadow and um, Southeast Dam Conservation Area and walked that and trailed that sort of piecemeal. But um, I sent out an email to everyone and I think it got lost in the, the bundle of the, yeah. the original email. But I think we need to go back to that place and maybe do some maintenance work and, and trails and um, signs, arrows on Upper Boat Meadow and the conservation area. You just done that, but what we needed, you said a sign was removed that used to be Oh, there. yeah. I remember you put a sign from the, um, the rail trail into Upper Boat Meadow. Hmm. It's gone, whatever it is. I oh, saw it there. The rail trail from the pointing rail trail. in. Oh, okay. Pointing in. What did that sign say? Just to trail. To trail. And it's it's gone. And it was a, was it an official like town sign or or like the one we moved in uh, Cottontail. It was just my, uh, you know not an official trail, town official. sign. It just a yeah. But it was removed. Okay. Yeah, perhaps I could walk that trail with hmm. some yeah. of the members of the open space committee because I like to do it. I'll go recently and we hung up the arrows which mm -hmm. was great and then i i just walked it with my family like a week ago too and aside from the two trail sign it would be helpful i think a big takeaway when we all walked it was that when you get to the end at peach orchard mm -hmm. something that shows that it continues like kind of across the way you know what i'm talking well, about there, there like is, like a, another it's... entry to loop to finish the okay. loop. It's and small. People, I don't think, realize that. I don't think they have to just. It looks like it ends there. Yeah. Okay. So, an actually, there is, there is another through this way, but it's small. And during the spring, when everything's growing, mm -hmm. it sort of gets covered. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did not see that. Okay. Cool. But it is, it's. I think we should walk it again. Yeah. Yeah. I love that truck. Yeah, next time you um, plan to mm -hmm. walk the property, just give me a heads up and I'll, I'll join you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I do, <clears throat> excuse okay. me, I do have an idea for another um, work workday day. project that would potentially come up in rather short order. Mm -hmm. Great uh, Pond. If you recall yep. the, the culvert improvements that were yep. done um, under Great oh, Pond. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, part of that project was the removal of knotweed and for the most part they they did a, a good job but i mean there's still some that pop up and and will that, pop up for the next 20 years yeah. so just to keep that um <laughs> manageable keep, uh, yeah. i'd like to get out there and, and pull the knotweed oh pull it oh yeah it's still at the size where it the roots be oh good and like the rhizome shouldn't be yeah all that big that would be great yeah um but i would like to do that sooner rather than later um so I was thinking perhaps sometime early next week. Is that great fun? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah, it's right. It's on the um, public beach side, yeah. you know, yeah. not Wiley Park. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, yeah. And if there were, a not weed. if there were a couple of us out there, I don't think it would take more than an hour. It could be pretty quick. Okay. Um, I can go, Alex. Okay. Or or do, so, do we want to set a date now or do we want to just I'll have to look at my calendar. So so Alex, why don't I yeah. send an email after this meeting with some dates and times and we could, you know, confirm it then. Great. Right. Okay. Just like my children. <laughs> two dates. Two dates. Two dates. Two dates. Three two times. Yeah. Some options. Options. Some okay. options. You'll get yeah, options. You'll get not too many. You'll get options. Okay. 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 Um let's move sort of go back up to uh, Sandy Meadow um, under stewardship, um, uh, starting with the signs. Um, uh, Francis had said that you, you can write a check for the, to get the final images, those, Correct. those images. And then um, you want to, she said you'd use Adobe to replace the images and the text, and then it'd be ready to send on to fossil. Correct. So be working okay. off of what, um, you know, Karen's already uh, built on and we're just going to swap out 
mm -hmm. images with ones that are of proper resolution. Right. And um, so we were able to um, find images through a stock image website and mm -hmm. we could use, I got permission to use the, the town credit card, purchase the 36 images. Okay. And then, so once we do that. What account is the credit card? I'm just was, curious. So, Former on the finance committee. Finance committee. <laughs> Great question. I don't know. But so miscellaneous like, recash. And then nobody has a question. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's three hundred twenty-five dollars. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. probably a. And then the CPA funds would then just reimburse the town. Okay. Which is okay. And the QR would be a sticker later, a, a sticker put onto the signs. Correct. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's, that sounds great. At time so did we pay for it? I mean, where are, did, did you use the credit card yet? Or are we thinking of using it? No, I've not used it yet. So I haven't, oh. I haven't made the purchase, but we have, we have the. Jump energy. on it, Alex. Otherwise they'll say we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So time. time I mean, that's, you know, something I could do this week. And then getting it to fossil. And then getting it to fossil, I would like to do that next week. Okay. Um, and I know I don't know what their timeline's like, but it'd be great to yeah. have those before. I don't know how busy they are, but yeah. those can get in. I guess like my goal would be I'd like to have this done by the end of the year. The end of the year, if not sooner. And just coincidentally, AmeriCorps is coming. AmeriCorps is coming. Or Sandy Meadow, December, before the end of the year, but. And it'll be Monday, December 4th. Oh, 4th. Is okay. the AmeriCorps service project at Sandy Meadow. Um, I have not done a site visit with natural resources, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I will, you know, do that probably sometime mid November just to touch base mm -hmm. on, on the work that we want to get done for that service project but okay. more or less it's going to be um the pruning and then cutting of you know the baby the locusts and the locusts okay, yeah. that are popping up um in the bowl mm -hmm. and um, that's just going to be ongoing maintenance that the town will will be doing and i guess in perpetuity you know as as needed mm -hmm. um so yeah so i'll be out in the field with the, the mayor core members for that project and looking forward to it um i think you know yeah members of the um, open space committee want to join for part of the day I think you know, feel free to yeah if you can send us out the sort of time and yeah. remind yeah. that would be great <clears throat> um and also Sandy met the ADA trail um you've um talked the to ADA big, trail yeah. so um so I'd originally reached out to read custom soils which was a contact that I received from the Harwich Conservation Trust mm -hmm. um if you recall, they did a very large restoration project at the Cold Brook, Cold Brook Nature Preserve. And there's an ADA trail that goes you know, through that mm -hmm. property. And so Reed Custom Soils um, was a contractor that they used um, for the trail. So I reached out to Reed Custom Soils. Um, evidently, they provide the material, but not the labor. But they gave me some landscapers to contact. And um, Francis and I had a site visit this morning with um, a landscaper from Centerville. And um, the name of the company is escaping me. But um, this is trail escaping work. Escaping me, that's a good name. For <laughs> yeah. um, but this landscaping company has done it, trails like this before. Mm. So they've, they've done you know, trail work. And we walked, you know, the full length, the full 950 feet of the 88 proposed extension. Mm -hmm. And um, he was pretty optimistic that him and his mm -hmm. crew would be able to complete the work. I'm also trying to get a quote from a second landscaping company. So mm -hmm. I get two quotes and just kind of see where they, uh, where they lie. Okay. Um, after the, or I guess during the site visit, you know, we expressed interest in having this done sometime this winter, and it seemed like he was pretty excited about that opportunity because during the winter, you know, his, his right. crews didn't really have a lot of work. Yeah. And um, so 
the fact that we're kind of timing this during the off season, I think is to our benefit. It's good. Um, so he said, expect a proposal from him within a week. Hmm. And so when I receive that proposal, I'll share that with uh, the open space committee. Okay. In the meantime, I'll aim to get another site visit with the, the second landscaping company that Reed Custom Soils recommended to me as well. So, mm -hmm. okay. um, it pro probably not necessary for the necessary necessarily for this project, but if, if you haven't heard, um, the Appalachian Mountain Club this, um, got start, worked with, uh, recently on Cape, working with, um, is it the Barnstable Land Trust it, or Aud it might've been Audubon oh, and AMC because they have trail crews that do this stuff and mm -hmm. they did a big project. It's sort of, I think it must've been Audubon. Anyway, I don't remember the details, but there it's great when organizations like that can mm. bring in expertise. But AMC has a, a major, um, you know, whole group, you know, professional trail people, and sure. they're trying to do all trails. They've just finished something in somewhere in Massachusetts and helping one of the central, I think it's central Mass, on all, big all trails extension. Oh, interesting. So, oh, cool. yeah. It's an interesting partnership. Yeah. So I think this is, you know, not, it's not a big project, but right. um, that's, that's always fun to see that going on. And then Karen, I'm just kind of thinking, um, you know, going forward with this ADA trail, um, you know, these proposals, I'm, I'm assuming should be shared with, with the commission as well. And does the, does the commission need to, or I guess, do we need any approvals from the commission to proceed with work on this project well, well technically sandy meadow is not under commission jurisdiction it's under the select board under select board that's right <sighs> that's right and, and i do it, also it, just want to remind you that we do need to get nagsp to sign off before any work so. right so this is in priority habitat um so before before work can officially start we would need nagsp to, to sign off on it Right. Uh, as well. We we okay. haven't officially made Sandy Meadow a permanent conservation site. Right. That's yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that'll be a conversation the select, with the, the select board generally has seemed to be in favor of letting the open space committee do what it wants over there. Right. Mm -hmm. And, okay. and you, usually any projects that go on there as a courtesy get shared with the company. Yeah but no approvals required. Okay. Um, we should work on that. Yeah. And, and just thinking that but, it might be something to tie in with um, the sewering project because they have to do the sewering pro project with uh, no net um, land loss. So setting things aside as permanent conservation might um, take on some of that burden. Right. That's, um, yeah, that's a, a good <laughs> tool. This is, you know, this is, goes way back history um, and it's not considered, you know, protected yet. Mm -hmm. The more we work on it, the more that happens there, the more it's going to be, but it would be nice well, to mm -hmm. There's make. still that too. 2013 um, town meeting vote. Right. Where it was voted to be conservation. Yes, but wasn't acted on to switch it to the conservation commissions. Yes. Well, I think the select board didn't approve at the time. Neither did yeah. the town administration. So okay. the vote was whatever. Um, but but it seems like there's an opportunity coming up. Yeah. Where, um, we might be able to use other town projects to leverage that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and also the town will need to come up with other land to set aside. So we should keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. There may or may not be funds to buy more land. As Paul and I have had this conversation, but mm -hmm. it, it will need to be put aside. So, Okay. Anything else on Sandy Meadow before we move to the Higgins property? 
Um, Higgins, um, there, I guess there was a question of where the last marker in trails should be the one that pops out onto private property um, is the concern. How, do we, well, the, the last marker should be, should be on, on our property. Um, so I guess, and you're talking with the cross country coach about marking yeah. the course. Yeah. So I think cross country season is now over. Um, what I understand, but going forward, we're going to implement, um, you know, some protocols on how that how they should will mark the trail. mark things. Uh, you know, okay. I think we're certainly excited about the shared use between oh, sure. yeah you know, the town oh, and the school. Sure. And um, yeah, but I think we have you know kind of a formal procedure on how the trails marked for for the cross country team. I think that'd be yeah. beneficial. Yeah, so. that'd be great. <clears throat> Okay. We are including the Higgins property trail within our maps, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to go walk that yeah. with somebody. I don't like Well, and I yeah, would. and Fr Francis is the most, I mean, she, she, she goes there a lot. Her. Yeah. Because um, she lives right there. Right there. So, um, so but yeah, to add that to the, the, you know, the data collecting for our trails, you know. Would it be appropriate to have sign at the end of the town like at the town property line just informing people that they're you are leaving, leaving property. town property, property. private hmm. yeah probably you should say um no trespassing right i mean in the kind of this is beyond this point is private property please no trespassing well i walked so. it once so i don't i know i went through the gravel pit and i i know the town I don't think the town owns the gravel pit. It doesn't. No, I need, to, I need to look at the map. They own the 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 next the uh, dirt pile. I, I wouldn't have the town put a no trespassing on the uh, but I would say that public town owned ends you this beyond here is private property. Just yeah. Um and and ha has there been any further activity by the owner of the private property not i've seen not huge that. piles of dirt there's always digging and throwing it's just stuff around there so yeah. on on the town property or no no on the abutters property okay. but that you know the the sign that was taken down across the you know the right. the encroach encroachment onto ours by the like likely by the abutter but not. do we know if our 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 boundary is marked. Has there been? Um, I have not. I wow. thought Bob Cook did marked it. Okay. I I thought he did. You know, perhaps. I mean, this is I guess just thinking ahead. We had some sort of delineation along right. town uh, property right. lines. Well, it would be easier for us to kind of monitor that encroachment. I'll ask Francis when I. Okay. Because yeah. I think I think there's something out there, um, but she would know more. Okay. Yeah. I, think I walked it once a year ago. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, sort of wrapping up with stewardship back to the um, trail lengths and difficulties to get for, is that something you're still sort of coordinating what um, will be going on to these maps we're going to eventually have with our trails or I mean, right. uh, a subgroup? I mean, it's yeah. working on that. I know I've been out of the loop a little bit. Okay. I have lengths of some trails and, and right. some of these trails I've taken in 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 sections and I have to put them together. Mm -hmm. Um I might have to rewalk them, which is no, no problem to me. Yeah. So who's on that committee? And I it was parking. It was Michelle, Rob. you, me, Alex, Rob. and Rob. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just need to gather. We haven't Okay. It yeah. And then um Princess had to note that you were going to meet with Paul about the legend for those, but why? About the legend. The legend. <laughs> so the, the uh legend for the brochures, I guess, on that for the brochures. icons. So so it's basically I would think it would be the same thing as the icons. Okay. Because uh, mm. I don't think we should reinvent the wheel. It's right. it's really basically we're talking about the same thing as this mm -hmm. wheel not uh <clears throat> we already submitted the icon, so whatever happened with that. 
Correct. Yes. So we have a document with the icons on it. Just buffering here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, got it. Um, we've got yeah the icons. So I I do need to. I've not met with Paul about um, about the legend. Um, so that would be okay. that be something that I I will work on. Okay. Great. I feel like we all need a refresh. Uh, like we should all plan, even if it's not right away, because things are busy. But like we should regroup on the maps and where what next steps are. Sure. Anyway, I I feel out of touch. But I agree, ready. Kate. Okay, you're my technical person. Okay, I mean I just. <laughs> I was so thrilled I figured out how to do this. Yeah, no, that's great for the lanes and that. Yeah, that'll be yeah, perfect. Kate, to... okay. yeah. hey, do you want to take the lead to try to get us together? Or yeah. how do we make this happen? Yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah. Great. Thank Things you. to do. Thank you. Okay. Um, the CPA application for the trail kiosks has been submitted. Michelle? Yeah, wanna... and thanks to... Um, Alex, you helped a lot, and it, mm -hmm. Francis and I spent many hours trying to write the thing. So we were meeting the requirements of, you know, the CPA application itself. And um, you know, Rob came a little bit before he went out and helped you know, mm -hmm. cut down poison ivy. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> we took. I went and I took pictures down in Orleans to show what the prototype mm -hmm. looked like, and then um, Putnam Farms. And, yeah. Francis, I think she sent it around the application yeah. that we actually submitted. Um, multiple bids um, were requested. Only two people actually responded because the scale of the project was not big enough for some people to even respond. I guess that happens a lot in the town. I, I, I'm mm. aware of that. But um, we would like to go local if possible. So Cape Associates definitely gave us a bid and it was around 10000 which included installation and everything else. We had um, originally thought that we could, you know, get volunteers to dig holes and you know, put the kiosks up. And I know Francis and I talked about liability associated with that. And, you know, we're on town land and we want to make sure that it's done well and we can withstand big winds. And, you know, I mean, we're, there's only so much we can do in terms of, you know, certifying that these are going to, you know, stand all the elements, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So, so we do, there was one more step. So the, the application has been submitted um, and it's all the elements. We look at the strategic plan, Karen, and where it fits in that and all the CPA, you know, values and goals where it, it aligns with that. And I think it's going to, it's a great project. It really is a great project. Mm -hmm. um, so what's left to do is, know see where we come out with the whole thing but we do have a step to take and rob and i are going to go talk to cape associates and see what they mm -hmm. can do just them in kind labor or something to be rather than have us be the volunteers maybe they can throw some stuff in mm -hmm. um if in fact they had their name on it or i don't know but i mean it's in the town so yeah. we're hoping yeah. that and that step we have not taken yet so we still think that the bit that they gave us is probably mm -hmm. the top number and perhaps we negotiate um, something a little less. Mm -hmm. So that's been submitted. It needed to go in by the 30th of this month, which is today. And, and we got it in. Francis got it in, what, Alex, two days ago or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was good effort all the way around. OK. Um, great. Thanks. Um, do I, I do have a, something under new business. Do we have any other old business? Is Coyote new? Uh, we do have an updated Coyote, okay. <laughs> Coyote awareness sign. Okay, for great. Trailheads. Um, have I passed this around to everyone yet? No. No, perhaps I'll do that after yeah. um, the meeting here. Um, but I've yeah. been working with Stephanie Sykes yeah. with this sign. And um, the East Ham resident, Carl Jacobs, he's a local photographer. He um, allowed us to use one of his images, oh, nice. you know, as long as we credited him. Wow. So um, this would be a, you know, an informational flyer that would be, you know, at our trailheads for people to, to read. Mm -hmm. nice. Can I take a picture and post it to our Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Great. 
Um, I'm hearing that I'm hearing uh, the great horned owls hooting now. It's dark. It's yeah. wonderful. And always hear the coyotes. Um, so under new business, just there's going to be a, there's another CPA application and the open space committee is being asked for a letter of support. And it is by the East Ham Conservation Foundation and a purchase of 20 Deacon Payne, I'm looking at Karen because she will remember this property quite well, 20 Deacon Payne Road, uh, which um, a, the, was approved after, uh, amidst great angst uh, and multiple meetings by the Conservation Commission. There is a town, it's right next to a, the town, a town pond mm. um, and a wetland it happens to be a man-made pond, but from decades ago. So it's developed into a really nice community pond. And this funny shaped 30,000 square foot lot was developable. The only access to build back behind the pond required going, filling in 500 square feet or so of wetlands. Uh -oh. And it ended up be, ha sort of having to be approved because that was the only, you can't, anyway, Karen might want to add more to that. But the good news is there were, this was um, pre-COVID, neighbors were all upset, save our pond, no building. It was very um, um, upsetting to the neighborhood. And um, the neighbors behind on Joshua Way ended up buying the lot to protect it from development, mm. but it's still taxed as a developable lot. And they got to a point where we, we can't, <laughs> we need to, um, so, so they, right. So they've actually sold it already to an interim being held for conservation for $150,000 and ECF, uh, they want to then sell it for, to the same price, you know, have ECF, uh, raise those funds to to become ECF. So ECF Henry's put together an application uh, for fifty thousand dollars for CPA funds to support that acquisition. Um, so not only does it keep um, filling in a wetland and building another house there, but if you back up with a G look look above, there's there's several. There's a town owned conservation land lot. There's an ECF lot, and there's that huge. Um, eight, 18 or 19 acres along okay. um, Governor Prince. Um, it, it's a wildlife yeah, corridor yeah. that's quite nice. I live, I live Yeah, there. so it's it's not, by itself, it doesn't seem like much, but it's part of a, a pretty yeah. important, especially for the neighborhood, but also for the rest of it. So I think that should should be an easy, well, we never know. How large is the? It's 30,000 square feet. So the house that could go behind with, and they almost have to build a bridge, fill over wetlands, and but they had engineering all approved to mm. do that, to, to sell it as a buildable lot. Um, and then, um, so it's currently uh, assessed at $223,000, the lot. So 150 is a bargain sale. And, and so that's another good thing because CPA wants you to, you know, leverage other money so bargain sure. sale and mark robinson will be helping ecf um get any state grants and fundraising from neighborhoods so hopefully the cpa application will be a big part of that so nice. we need to draft a letter of support is that what we need to right do? francis uh got the note from henry today requesting a letter so um we i, I don't think we the, the applications do today um, I, we can take a vote today on, do we support that? That would expedite Francis, um, drafting the letter of support. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll move support. Yeah. So moved. Second, third. Second, third. All in yeah. favor? All in favor. <laughs> okay. So we're officially voting Aye. five to nothing. I don't know if we need to record who Frank. Okay. So we'll let Francis know to draft. She can. Yeah, the letters, letters, um, the applications are due today at five, but letters of support. Can the come letters in. can come in after, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Henry and, also asked me to write a letter of support as well. Or as the conservation agent, you can, or and conservation commission, I mean, I would hope would support it too. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great. Put, Alex, let's put that on our next agenda. 
yeah. the next agenda. Yeah, you, yeah that's. Yeah, jo Joanna, maybe you could write some um, talking points for us to include in our. Okay. Well, I can actually, we can send you, well, Paul, the Paul should have it. The whole application, it's it's long. Lot, good maps, though. It's, you know, yeah. okay. it's got more than yeah. more than you want to know. I think Henry might have provided the complete application yeah. to me today. Okay. There's a manila okay. envelope on my desk. I think that's what it is. And so oh. what I can do is. Or is well, yeah. Do you want it to make hard copies? Do Can you. Well, I was just make... thinking I could scan that, scan the application, and then provide and give that to the commission prior right. to our next meeting. See, check with Stacy Wadi, Wadi and Paul yeah. about because they may be doing that already for the CPA team is scanning it. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, when Francis, yeah, when Francis said she might actually have, Aaron, like a, a summary because when we sent out the CPA application and asked for the letters of support, we included a, a paragraph that could be inserted. That was for our project, for the kiosk project. We included when we sent the the request a paragraph that could be inserted in a letter of support. So I don't know if Karen, if Francis received something like that or not. Yeah, Concom should probably write a letter of support for the kiosks as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So may, maybe Alex, you and I could talk. We could draft something ahead of the meeting. Okay. Um, and Alex got a request for a letter for that for the yeah. kiosks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. So if we can yeah, so Francis will Francis can put together one for, for us. You got Karen, you and Austin for Conscom and yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. I have a question. Who drafted the site plan for that? Was it the sellers made that to make it like an appealing thing? You said there's already like a, a plan of how the house can be built on the, the oh that was the plan. original the uh, the heirs to the owner. The, the children who didn't have other property yeah. and were trying to sell it. Gotcha. Um, and that was, um, they had engineering. Yeah. yeah. And here's okay. where a house would be. Here's where the septic yeah. would be. And, you know, going to conservation is, you know, it was the access issue and they'd explored, you know, easements through other private property. Of mm -hmm. course, people said, no, there was, yeah. there was, you know, it was filling in that part of that pond. Mm -hmm. I guess just because so they would have had to do a full site plan if they wanted ComCon -Com to. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be on record. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. So in that neighborhood, we had talked, we had some yeah. back and forth email about the 180 country lane. That's awesome. Oh, the long yeah. skinny strip. If there are we like what makes this, which I'm totally in support of, okay. the Deacon Kane more desirable to purchase than that. Because Deacon Payne is de is developable. It's been yeah. Well, that's and when we think it's just gonna probably fall out the country market. lane. It yeah. it's, it says it's developable. Right. Where it you you would there's only one little triangle right, right. up in the corner. Yeah. Right. So so we're not worried about it basically. Right, okay. right. Right. At least well, and if it were truly the price. the seller on one eighty country, that the price w was. Over was uh, for like a buildable lot. Yeah, yes. it was yes. it was like market um, price. Yes, correct. This yeah. one, you know, again, ECF is the interim, so funds are from different mm -hmm. areas and it's below even the uh, assessment. So okay. I um, thought enough. Yeah, I understand that because I walk by it every day and I yeah. I assume it's just gonna fall off the market, but I didn't know it by obtaining it as a group if it some if if it were the right price, it'd be worth doing it but but again the town well i shouldn't speak for the town typically the town doesn't want to own stuff it has to take care of mm -hmm. and there's a lot of road frontage there that needs to be visible and everything so it's it's yeah 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 okay anyway thanks if well yeah that shouldn't be developable, but it'll just it, be if that one house sells, basically, then they can maybe expand if they were to purchase that. Yeah, and that, that, that would, that would, yeah. Okay. okay. Anything else? Um, so we have a lot of sort of play dates, <laughs> right. potential yeah. play dates. The weather's been amazing, so yeah, yeah let's, let's get it get out so there. I can I can come 
I'm just going to say, Alex, you want to walk? What, what do we do? Oh, we're doing uh, um, Great Pond Road. Great Pond. The Culbert. Great yeah, Pond. so you'll send that out. I'll send that out. Your I'll probably It'll probably be either be um, Monday the 4th or Wednesday the 6th. Perfect. I will, will I'm actually free. Keep I'm Election quite... Day free. Yeah. Forever. Um, okay. And then... Um, we need to get together as a subgroup for, for the map. maps. For the maps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any, any time I say any time I'm, I am going to have to go to Connecticut at some point in time. Um, but right now I'm free. Okay. Let me, okay. yeah, I'll throw some dates out. I yeah, put you're, it in my you're... calendar for tomorrow to email everyone. So I'll look okay. at it. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay. And then. Michelle, too. Is there another date I was supposed to send out? So our next meeting is um, Wednesday, November 20th, 2.30. Yep. So um, hopefully we'll have some um, some activities before that, yep. but then we can plan the next round of things. A lot going on. Oh, I've been walking uh, oh, uh, the Upper Boat Meadow. Upper Boat Meadow, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can also send data okay. for that. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. I won't be at the next meeting. I have a doctor's appointment, unfortunately. Sorry, Karen? I won't be at the November meeting. I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. Okay. So I also have a high, dental hygiene appointment at 2 o'clock. <laughs> November 20th. So is there a different date? Well, I don't have my, my teeth calendar. And Francis, yeah. and there's too many people okay. missing. So I... So, but we could um, maybe I'll let Francis know that to when. Well, I don't have my calendar. The next Wednesday is right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's not good. We can't, we can't do that. This was the one that gave us enough to, since we're so late this month. Right, the twentieth. Right. Um, I, I can switch that. I can switch. That. So you know, are they going to give you like a six month away appointment? Oh, okay. I'm going to go there and tell them. Okay. okay. In demand. I know that I know those people. <laughs> okay. Well, so November twentieth, unless, unless, um, yeah. All right. Right. Motion. Motion to adjourn. I'll make second. Second. All in favor. Motion to close it. Five, 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 two, zero. Alex, you have to stay. No. Uh, meeting ah. yearned. <laughs> 318.